See, when you want the truth, and when you want the facts, you better watch no filter, because I got your back. Ain't no ducking, ain't no dodging, ain't no scheming, ain't no hiding, because I got that work. You want to get this work. You want to get this work. You about to get this work. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to No Filter News and Talking. It's your girl, Inger. Welcome back. Oh, I just want to send a big shout out to all my subs out there. You guys rock. I love it when you sub. I love it when you just share. I love it when you like. <laughs> I love it. For real. I really do. I really do. You guys are appreciated. Okay. Thank you for your donations. I mean, like, from the bottom of my heart, I really thank you. Because I couldn't do this without you guys. I couldn't do this without y'all, for real. And you hate us, too, because guess what? You got to watch it in order to hate. And so thank you for your hating ass view. <laughs> I appreciate you, too. <laughs> but, no, let me keep it serious. Let me keep it rolling. Now, I don't, I don't watch many channels but i did watch i something was brought to me and it was some information from kev gills okay big shout out to kev gills but it made sense it made total sense like and i don't even watch other youtube channels because some of them just be spewing that rhetoric and i don't have time for that and no i don't agree with everything kev gills do i don't but this particular thing and a few things but this one stuck out to me and somebody mentioned this in my comment. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the Rizza Islam live. You know, the live when he was there on the scene. He was right there on the scene. Not only that, he said some things that we didn't know nothing about. Now, let me stop y'all right there. Because somebody was saying, oh, well, don't let Kev Gills get you in no jam. And uh-uh. Uh-uh. First of all, I got my big girl panties on. I'm on this channel by myself. If somebody had a problem with it, then tell them to pull up. It's just that simple. Not only that, Kev Gills can't get me into anything. I, and and what I saw with my eyes, I don't see Kev give names on Rizzo Islam live. That's his live. He mentioned some things that stuck out to me. And if, if we're going to say Cowboy's a suspect, and if we're going to say uh, Rimpa, however you pronounce it, if we're going to say he's a suspect and the rest of these people are a suspect, then how come nobody's mentioning Riza Islam? Now, I'm not saying he's a suspect or not, but I'm just saying, why is nobody bringing that up when he clearly says it was two shooters? Very quick and in and out. Now, why nobody's looking at that? Okay? Why nobody's looking at that? Why, why, why do we sweep that under the rug? I don't got no problem with him. I don't know him. I'm just going by what he say. Because over here, I like to use people's words. I like to use their words against them. <laughs> he said it. That's his life. So, without further ado, we're going to call Riza Islam to the stand over here. So, I would like to call Mr. Riza Islam to the stand right now. Good morning, sir. Now, what do what I want to know is, what can you tell us about that day? About the time at the Marathon store? What can you tell us? What you need to know, one, five shots to the body, one to the head. Five shots to the body, one to the head. That is a military style hit. It was in and out. The way it happened was in and out very quick. The United States government, and I just say this specifically, in downtown LA a couple months ago, have been practicing military drills. In downtown LA, they were 
practicing military drills, going in and out of businesses, and they've been practicing on maneuvers in downtown LA. Okay, I want you to understand this. <clears throat> there have not been major gang wars in a while. There have not been major gang wars in quite some time. And because of this, the government, how you doing, brother? The government does not have a justifiable reason. I'm going to give you some information for reason to bring down the National Guard. So what this has done is this has now sparked the 40s, the 60s, multiple hoods to trigger. And once you get these hoods to trigger, once you get these hoods to retaliate against one another, it then gives the government justification to bring down the National Guard. <clears throat> That's what it does. Okay, Mr. Riza Islam, those are very shocking claims. But I have a question for you. Why were you there? You're under oath. I want to know, why were you really there? We know that you're a very busy man. You travel the country. You know, why were you there at that time and at that place? You say that this type of thing happens all the time. Okay. Have you shown up to any other place where a young black man was gunned down? Why did you happen to show up to this one? Looking through your Instagram, you said that you did security for Nipsey Hussle at one point. Okay. Why were you there? Were you visiting the shop? Were you talking to him? Were you working? Why were you there? Because in your live video, there's a pinned comment. And it says Nipsey is on the ground. So that means you got there within minutes before the MLAMs even picked him up. So why were you there? That's it. That's it. That's all. Just one question. Why were you there? Out of your original uniform with the you normally have on suit and the bow tie this time you had on the jacket um in 75 80 degree weather why were you there that's the question we have we're going to come back with your testimony right now we're going to call a recess and this is part one. We'll be back. We'll be back to ask you more questions. That's all I have right now, Your Honor. Thank you. Now, the goal here is justice for Nipsey. We're not waiting for them to give us justice. They're the one that released this footage to everybody. And then they set it out there and they expect us to be okay with it. Be okay with him getting gunned down. Being okay with what they had to say. No, I'm not okay with it. It doesn't sit right in my spirit. So with that, Everybody is a suspect, especially if they was there. So that's why I want to know. RZA made a bunch of statements. RZA said a lot of stuff. Stuff that we didn't know nothing about that's just now unfolding to this day. And that's the question that I have for RZA is hashtag how you know. How do you know that it was a military style hit? That it was a government orchestrated hit. That it was five shots to the body. That it was one to the head. That it was two guns. How do you know that? Why were you there? It's the question I have. Justice for Nip. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And that's my time. Bye-bye.